Thank you so much for watching Tomo Fujita music. So a little bit close up today to show you how to play blues phrase. And this is very difficult to teach, difficult to learn. And in a way, easy to teach, easy to learn if you just show pentatonic like this. See, this is a kind of main problem about the guitar education is that um, just showing patterns so quickly and then telling you, okay, this is a scale, this is work, this is works, you know, for the blues. But I think to me, I've been playing blues a long time, and a funny story that when I graduated from Berkeley, that's when I noticed clearly I just cannot play blues well. In other words, I had a lot of knowledge, I have a lot of experience, but not really, it wasn't really natural. So when I graduated from Berkeley, I decided to study blues. That's when I decided not to listen to any jazz, any funk, only blues. About, I did that from 1990 or 91, maybe three, four years. Every day, all about blues. And then I noticed, I was playing scale, like this. I mean, I play a little bit more better, maybe, but still, kind of scale, you know? So I think first, we all have to do, listen to B.B. King. And there's so many great albums, Live at the Regal, Blues is the King, Cook County Jail, and so many, so many great live ones. But also, one song, B.B. King, called Lucille, I think you can find on YouTube. And then, first thing he does, so you listen to that, okay? So that's like, you know, well, first you have to do first phrase, one, two, three. So like a on the four, that's already it's not minor pentatonic, really, more like a quarter tone to me. Five, six, one. Right? The second phrase about five seconds. Kind of slow uh, bending. So that's like, you know, plus seven into one. So then, uh, the phrase like. So he does all. As you notice, B.B. King does quite a bit first finger bend. He does quite a bit. That's where, as you see, John Mayer study. See, pentatonic scale here. If you think pentatonic, most people only this side you bend, not the that side. But BB does. The important part is. Like this. Blues phrase has a little bit. Because if you end on a flat three on the one kind of sounds funny. I mean, unless you think it's sharp 11, you know. So the first step you really have to do, listen to B.B. King. For example, Lucille or Sweet Little Angel. 
whatever the song you like, you listen that every day, many, many, many times. And then, like I, when I teach、uh, Berkeley students, sometimes I give them which one to listen to. I give them time code, time code, like which part is really have to learn. So, for example, if it's like a you know, BB King Lucille. Um, you can find out on YouTube, right? So, like, you know, this phrase about five seconds. Like that, you know? And then the four chord, BB does like, like a first finger, fifth to sixth. This major third of major third of a four chord. So that's really sweet. That's、uh, 15 seconds. Again, after that, you know, that's three points I give you. And then probably around 18 seconds, 24 seconds. That's great too. So. Um, first step, really listen to BB King. Next step, you really have to understand.、Like、Chord change, four and one. Four. And one. Five. Four. And one. So that was my blues. Influenced by BB King. Study theory a little bit. Study triads. Study ear training. And so on. And I figured out what BB King was doing. So I copied a little bit BB King and I analyzed them. Analyze me what degree, what moment, what rhythm, all the details as much as I can. And you see, like、uh, imitating 
somebody great definitely it's any case you want to study anything person business anything you have to imitate first understand what's going on then you take that idea into yourself so this is really good like achieving something in life so to me blues is really helping my life sort of get together and really fun to do it once you find so answer is not just 12 bar blues or ju not just a pentatonic scale or five position of penton pentatonic scale if you say so everybody become amazing guitar player why we cannot do it why why are we still looking for because it's not easy that's the answer <laughs> by the way again I'm, I'm just playing this this guitar 1967 ES335 with like a nylon saddles all the original and really sweet tone right now I'm playing all rear pickup so if I go front pickup sounds like that See, that's jazzy. So when I play blues, I go rear pickup because that's a BB sound. Almost like when he was playing Esquire or he does, he used to play, you know, Zero Eighth or, you know, my, I mean, I don't, so this is 10, but maybe I should put this one. What do you think? Do you like to put this one on this? Anyone like this one? <laughs> maybe I'll, you know, try so anyway so you understand chord progression one four one one four four one one five four one five that's the one right so now the first phrase Try it. So I'm aiming B flat with then here A flat. This is really special key E flat. So like that's really nice you know area to play like this you can see try it see try it so all you have to think try as
That's classic. Recorded 1954 by Gate Mouth Brown, Okidoki Stomp. If you play blues, if you want to play blues like B.B. King, if you want to play blues like Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimmy Vaughan, Buddy Guy, you have to know this song, Okidoki Stomp. This is one of Jimmy Vaughan's、uh, favorite songs, you know? So, like that. You see, there's a few tunes in jazz, in blues, a few tunes we must know. Those tunes you have to study secretly. <laughs> you have to study. Otherwise, you don't get to the next level. No matter how much knowledge you have, you can't do that. So, that's what happened. I went to Berkeley, I studied a lot, but still, I needed more. You know what I mean? I talk a little too much on this lesson, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you about the blues. Blues is fun, blues is life, blues is deep, blues is forever. Very difficult, not easy, but once you enter the right place, you can keep going, you can just keep going till you die, you know? It just d o n t end, just so deep, so deep. So good. I can keep playing. I can play hours doing that. And look at my thumb. I'm not playing like that, right? See, strap is very important. This is from England. Air strap. Really, really nice. Really nice design. My wife loves this. So actually, my wife gave to me this one. So you see? It's hard to see. Here we go. So this is really important when you play blues or funk. So this is my signature. And、uh, thank you, Beth. I love you. So this is、um, my wife, Beth, gave to me from Airstrap. What do you think? What do you think this strap? See, this, this one, you know, I have to play my ass off, you know? So I have to play really well every time. And <laughs> I can't wait to put this back. <laughs> wait a minute. See, I can do it. Anyway, so. How's everybody doing? This is great. Let's learn more BB King together. And again, this is the right guitar and right pickup, rear pickup. Now we can see my face. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, see you very soon. Yeah.